Thank you so much for joining us today on The One Year Bible Journey. I'm your host, Anthony Wade, and this episode is for May 24th. Today is day 144 on our journey, and we're going to be reading 2 Chronicles chapters 10, 11, 12, and 13. 2 Chronicles chapter 10 And Rehoboam went to Shechem, for all Israel had gone to Shechem to make him king. So it happened, when Jeroboam the son of Nebat heard it, he was in Egypt where he had fled from the presence of King Solomon, that Jeroboam returned from Egypt. Then they sent for him and called him, and Jeroboam and all Israel came and spoke to Rehoboam, saying, Your father made our yoke heavy. Now therefore, lighten the burdensome service of your father and his heavy yoke which he put on us, and we will serve you. So he said to them, Come back to me after three days, and the people departed. Then King Rehoboam consulted the elders who stood before his father Solomon while he still lived, saying, How do you advise me to answer these people? And they spoke to him, saying, If you are kind to these people, and please them, and speak good words to them, they will be your servants forever. But he rejected the advice which the elders had given him, and consulted the young men who had grown up with him, who stood before him. And he said to them, What advice do you give? How should we answer this people who have spoken to me, saying, Lighten the yoke which your father put on us? Then the young men who had grown up with him spoke to him, saying, Thus you should speak to the people who have spoken to you, saying, Your father made our yoke heavy, but you make it lighter on us. Thus you shall say to them, My little finger shall be thicker than my father's waist. And now, whereas my father put a heavy yoke on you, I will add to your yoke. My father chastised you with whips, but I will chastise you with scourges. So Jeroboam and all the people came to Rehoboam on the third day, as the king had directed, saying, Come back to me the third day. Then the king answered them roughly. King Rehoboam rejected the advice of the elders, and he spoke to them according to the advice of the young men, saying, My father made your yoke heavy, but I will add to it. My father chastised you with whips, but I will chastise you with scourges. So the king did not listen to the people. For the turn of events was from God, that the Lord might fulfill his word, which he had spoken by the hand of Ahijah the Shilonite to Jeroboam the son of Nebat. Now when all Israel saw that the king did not listen to them, the people answered the king, saying, What share have we in David? We have no inheritance in the son of Jesse. Every man to your tents, O Israel. Now see to your own house, O David. So all Israel departed to their tents. But Rehoboam reigned over the children of Israel who dwelt in the cities of Judah. Then King Rehoboam sent Hadaram, who was in charge of revenue. But the children of Israel stoned him with stones, and he died. Therefore King Rehoboam mounted his chariot in haste to flee to Jerusalem. So Israel has been in rebellion against the house of David to this day. 2 Chronicles chapter 11 Now when Rehoboam came to Jerusalem, he assembled from the house of Judah and Benjamin 180,000 chosen men who were warriors to fight against Israel, that he might restore the kingdom to Rehoboam. But the word of the Lord came to Shemaiah, the man of God, saying, Speak to Rehoboam, the son of Solomon, king of Judah, and to all Israel in Judah and Benjamin, saying, Thus says the Lord, You shall not go up or fight against your brethren. Let every man return to his house, for this thing is from me. Therefore they obeyed the words of the Lord and turned back from attacking Jeroboam. So Rehoboam dwelt in Jerusalem and built cities for defense in Judah. And he built Bethlehem. Edom, Tekoa, beth Soko, Adullam, Gath, Merashah, Ziph, Adaraim, Lachish, Azekah, Zorah, Aijalon, and Hebron, which are in Judah and Benjamin, fortified cities. And he fortified the strongholds, and put captains in them, and stores of food, oil, and wine. Also in every city he put shields and spears, and made them very strong, having Judah and Benjamin on his side. And from all their territories, the priests and the Levites who were in all Israel took their stand with him. For the Levites left their common lands and their possessions and came to Judah and Jerusalem, for Jeroboam and his sons had rejected them from serving as priests to the Lord. 
Then he appointed for himself priests for the high places, for the demons, and the calf idols which he had made. And after the Levites left, those from all the tribes of Israel, such as set their heart to seek the Lord God of Israel, came to Jerusalem to sacrifice to the Lord God of their fathers. So they strengthened the kingdom of Judah and made Rehoboam the son of Solomon strong for three years, because they walked in the way of David and Solomon for three years. Then Rehoboam took for himself as wife Maalath, the daughter of Jeremoth, the son of David, and of Abihail, the daughter of Eliah, the son of Jesse. And she bore him children, Jeush, Shemariah, and Zaham. After her he took Maacah, the granddaughter of Absalom, and she bore him Abijah, Atai, Ziza, and Shelomith. Now Rehoboam loved Maacah, the granddaughter of Absalom, more than all his wives and his concubines. For he took eighteen wives and sixty concubines, and begot twenty-eight sons and sixty daughters. And Rehoboam appointed Abijah the son of Maacah as chief, to be leader among his brothers, for he intended to make him king. He dealt wisely, and dispersed some of his sons throughout all the territories of Judah and Benjamin to every fortified city, and he gave them provisions in abundance. He also sought many wives for them. Second Chronicles chapter 12 Now it came to pass, when Rehoboam had established the kingdom and had strengthened himself, that he forsook the law of the Lord and all Israel along with him. And it happened in the fifth year of King Rehoboam that Shishak, king of Egypt, came up against Jerusalem because they had transgressed against the Lord. With twelve hundred chariots, sixty thousand horsemen, and people without number who came with him out of Egypt, the Lubim and the Sukim and the Ethiopians. And he took the fortified cities of Judah and came to Jerusalem. Then Shemaiah the prophet came to Rehoboam and the leaders of Judah, who were gathered together in Jerusalem because of Shishak, and said to them, Thus says the Lord, You have forsaken me, and therefore I also have left you in the hand of Shishak. So the leaders of Israel and the king humbled themselves, and they said, The Lord is righteous. Now when the Lord saw that they had humbled themselves, the word of the Lord came to Shemaiah, saying, They have humbled themselves. Therefore I will not destroy them, but I will grant them some deliverance. My wrath shall not be poured out on Jerusalem by the hand of Shishak. Nevertheless they will be his servants, that they may distinguish my service from the service of the kingdoms of the nations. So Shishak king of Egypt came up against Jerusalem, and took away the treasures of the house of the Lord and the treasures of the king's house. He took everything. He also carried away the gold shields which Solomon had made. Then King Rehoboam made bronze shields in their place, and committed them to the hands of the captains of the guard, who guarded the doorway of the king's house. And whenever the king entered the house of the Lord, the guard would go and bring them out. Then they would take them back into the guard room. When he humbled himself, the wrath of the Lord turned from him, so as not to destroy him completely. And things also went well in Judah. Thus Rehoboam strengthened himself in Jerusalem and reigned. Now Rehoboam was forty-one years old when he became king, and he reigned seventeen years in Jerusalem, the city which the Lord had chosen out of all the tribes of Israel to put his name there. His mother's name was Naamah, an Ammonitess. And he did evil, because he did not prepare his heart to seek the Lord. The acts of Rehoboam, first and last, are they not written in the book of Shemaiah the prophet, and of Iddo the seer, concerning genealogies? And there were wars between Rehoboam and Jeroboam all their days. So Rehoboam rested with his fathers and was buried in the city of David. Then Abijah his son reigned in his place. Second Chronicles chapter 13 In the eighteenth year of King Jeroboam, Abijah became king over Judah. He reigned three years in Jerusalem. His mother's name was Micaiah, the daughter of Uriel of Gibeah. And there was war between Abijah and Jeroboam. Abijah set the battle in order with an army of valiant warriors, 400,000 choice men. Jeroboam also drew up in battle formation against him with 800,000 choice men, mighty men of valor. Then Abijah stood on Mount Zemaraim, which is in the mountains of Ephraim, and said, Hear me, Jeroboam, and all Israel. 
Should you not know that the Lord God of Israel gave the dominion over Israel to David forever, to him and his sons, by a covenant of salt? Yet Jeroboam, the son of Nebat, the servant of Solomon, the son of David, rose up and rebelled against his Lord. Then worthless rogues gathered to him and strengthened themselves against Rehoboam, the son of Solomon, when Rehoboam was young and inexperienced and could not withstand them. And now you think to withstand the kingdom of the Lord, which is in the hand of the sons of David? And you are a great multitude, and with you are the gold calves which Jeroboam made for you as gods. Have you not cast out the priests of the Lord, the sons of Aaron and the Levites, and made for yourselves priests like the peoples of other lands, so that whoever comes to consecrate himself with a young bull and seven rams may be a priest of things that are not gods? But as for us, the Lord is our God, and we have not forsaken him. And the priests who minister to the Lord are the sons of Aaron, and the Levites attend to their duties. And they burn to the Lord every morning and every evening, burnt sacrifices and sweet incense. They also set the showbread in order on the pure gold table and the lampstand of gold with its lamps to burn every evening. For we keep the command of the Lord our God, but you have forsaken him. Now look, God himself is with us as our head and his priests with sounding trumpets to sound the alarm against you. O children of Israel, do not fight against the Lord God of your fathers, for you shall not prosper. But Jeroboam caused an ambush to go around behind them. So they were in front of Judah, and the ambush was behind them. And when Judah looked around, to their surprise the battle line was at both front and rear. And they cried out to the Lord, and the priests sounded the trumpets. Then the men of Judah gave a shout. And as the men of Judah shouted, it happened that God struck Jeroboam and all Israel before Abijah and Judah. And the children of Israel fled before Judah, and God delivered them into their hand. Then Abijah and his people struck them with a great slaughter. So five hundred thousand choice men of Israel fell slain. Thus the children of Israel were subdued at that time, and the children of Judah prevailed, because they relied on the Lord God of their fathers. And Abijah pursued Jeroboam and took cities from him, Bethel with its villages, Jeshana with its villages, and Ephraim with its villages. So Jeroboam did not recover strength again in the days of Abijah, and the Lord struck him, and he died. But Abijah grew mighty, married fourteen wives, and begot twenty-two sons and sixteen daughters. Now the rest of the acts of Abijah his ways and his sayings are written in the annals of the prophet Iddo. Thanks again for joining us on this amazing journey through the Bible. For additional resources to help you grow in your walk of faith, please visit our website at anthonyway.org. Have a blessed day and remember that Jesus is Lord and you are complete in him.